What's up, beautiful people? We have just parked up in the seaside town of Barmer. You can see the beach. We had a bit of a chilled morning this morning after our um, Kada hike. Idris hike and adventure yesterday. We're staying in Delanog, which is close to Welshpool. We thought it was called Dolanog, but actually it's pronounced Delanog. So it's been about an hour's drive here this morning, but it's a beautiful drive through the mountains of southern Snowdonia. And now, now we've arrived in Barmer. And beach. we're at the beach. I mean, the weather is a little bit overcast, so not perfect beach weather. Not sure we'll be going in the sea today. Absolutely not. But we're going to go and get exploring. My legs are very sore. Are you feeling the hike yesterday? I didn't do any stretching. <laughs> we can walk down this thing here. Nice. To the end, and then we don't have to get our feet all sandy. Is one of these cataridges? Okay, so this we think is where we were yesterday. Look, tide is still out. Got these very nice sand dunes. Purposely gone to the part of the beach where dogs are allowed because we love dogs. Ooh, that looks like um traditional something not very Welsh. Nice description there. A wooden carving of an Easter Island Moai man originally appeared on Barmouth Beach in 2010 after a couple donated it to the town. It had to be removed when it suffered damage during Storm Dennis in 2020, but the very next year, this sculpture returned in its place. Doesn't look very happy. No, he's not. another windy day today that is for sure just went over to the edge of the uh, the pier here and you got Barmouth Bridge just behind us we're thinking we might walk across that later today to get to the other side you can't there's a train that goes across it I think and then the only other way you can do is like walk or cycle if you want to drive you have to go all the way inland and round which takes pretty much as long as walking if not longer I think so if we got the time that might be a nice thing to do a little bit later. If there's we a could find arcade, two we machines. are going there. That is going to be we absolutely my pounds. vibe. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Look, we cross over. The sun's come out. About it. At the seaside, you've got to get yourselves a little fish and chips. Chip and chips. A chip and chips. 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 There you go. Ah, thank you. How's it looking? Oh, nice. And there's our view. Oh, yeah. That's definitely enough. That is enough for lunch. I think so. How was your fish and chips? So yummy. And what else did you get? Mushy, mushy peas. peas. Good. Best in Wales? Oh, I just walked into the... <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was really good. The chips were so nice. And it's you. arcade time. Yeah. Time to win our fortunes. gone further back. The crab looks tantalizingly close and even the turtle's getting close now. Baby's good. <laughs> yeah! 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 Where is it? Yeah! <laughs> that was really like thrilling. Hannah was like ching ching ching. <laughs> Mm 
Mm -mm. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. Good. I love rum and raisin. Me too. We spent the last hour or so sunbathing. Sitting on the beach sunbathing. It was, it was glorious. Divine. <laughs> but the, uh, the sun's kind of gone away. The wind has come back. And we decided it was time to make a move. So we're walking up towards Barmouth Bridge. And we're gonna see if we can get across. That house has got really nice balconies. That'll be so nice. Honesty toll. Ugh! Time to do up the zips all the way. And with that, we headed off on the windy walk over Barmouth Bridge. At 820 metres in length, it's the longest timber viaduct in Wales and one of the oldest in regular use in all of Britain. That was us yesterday. Time to join the trail. How do we say it? More that. More that. Yes, it used to be a steam railway that transported holidaymakers from the northwest of England and like the middle of England to, uh, the, to the coastline so they could have a nice seaside holiday. We accidentally stumbled upon it. We weren't sure whether we were going to try and come here. Turns out it's just right next to the trail. Sandy face <laughs> yeah. from being on the beach. As recently as the 1950s, it was still open and treeless. So this was just like vast, what does it say? Like grazing land, like for farm animals. And it's a window to the mountains. Can definitely tell it's an RSPB place with all of the bird calls. Haven't seen any <laughs> yet. It could just be like a little speaker. <laughs> yeah, it could just install speakers. <laughs> They've got something playing on repeat. Dig down. Dig all the way down, down into the bottom. I've done that. There's definitely one in there. I got it. Hey. After our walk, we thought it would be fun to catch the train back over the bridge into Barmouth. We're going okay. just and over here. This is Barmer. £1.55 each. I think that's a quite good. Nest, it only passes right. through once every two hours, but we timed it perfectly and it arrived just a few minutes after we got to the platform. Busy. That was really busy. Really busy getting on at uh, Barmouth. Like, yeah, it's probably like, well it's six o'clock now, so that's like the last train that goes for two hours back up along the coast. Maybe just like people that have come here for the day that live further up. Cheers. We made do with a takeaway pint as we couldn't get into most of the pubs or restaurants without a booking. In the end though, we found ourselves feeling lucky this meant we got to watch an oyster catcher foraging for its dinner on the banks of the estuary. The golden light faded from the day and we grabbed some crisps and watched the sunset. A lovely way to finish our day up here in Barma. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing for more. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels good around here. I've got a good idea. What? You could give me your jacket. <laughs> Parkour.